Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft survival episode. This is episode 2, and today we are starting things out on top of the farm that we built in the last episode. This is the acacia farm that we finished up, and today we are actually going to go into the nether to check out a farm that I worked on in between episodes. Alright, so here we are in the nether. We have built a wither skeleton farm here. Uh, this is the spot that I described in the world tour of where we were going to build the wither skeleton farm. And I have it created. So we've got three spawning platforms with flying machines that push them off into the middle. And then you can see right down here in the middle, we have a row of beds. Now, every once in a while, they will just wander into here, but the flying machines will push them in here. Then there's another flying machine here that will push them back and forth, dropping them into this little one-by-one -one hole and down here to the killing chamber. All right, so the redstone behind this is very simple. So this, this redstone torch powers this redstone line into a redstone torch tower and if you don't know how a redstone torch tower works if it's powered it changes the state of all of the redstone torches to the opposite of what they are currently so if we take that off as you can see this one was powered and now it's not and that changes it back to being powered so that's just how that works so on each of these levels, we have unpowered redstone torches, allowing this piston to be pushed by this observer, detecting the flying machine going back and forth. So when it is powered, the piston gets pushed out, stopping this detection. And it looks like, oh, there we go. Had a block to fix that after all. All right, so if we fly down here, we can see that there are several zombie pigmen down here, but there's not any currently blaze or wither skeletons. Now the reason behind that is probably that up here, we have our temporary gold farm. And I have been working on clearing out this area because I'm going to take out all of the nether rack to make this farm very efficient. So, with all of the zombie pigments spawning up there, it maxes out our mob cap, making it where things in here don't spawn as often. So next, we will be building up a little building to protect us from gas that spawn in neighboring areas, making sure that our redstone and we don't get blown up. Just below here, we are going to put in some hoppers and put in a sorting system to be able to collect all of our goodies. Our gold, our wither skeleton skulls, coal, blaze rods, this farm will produce many things that the nether has, which will be very nice for beacons, and I'll use the coal for our super smelter. Alright, so I'm going to get started on the building and the collection area, and I will be back. Alright, well before I get started on that building down there, I think we're going to need some birch wood. Because what I think I'm going to do is pair this stripped birch with the white stained glass that I've already got down there. Because I think that looks pretty nice. So we are going to use this farm to get all of our wood.
Alright guys, we're going to take a quick sidebar here, because in the next episode, we are getting a new member to the server, Pepperomp Pizzazz. He will be a YouTuber, so be looking for his videos. I will be posting them in the description, and right here, we have built a nice big present in the spawn chunks, so... When he gets online, he gets to unwrap his present. I've put a couple of shulker boxes in there of goodies that we will be showing off in the next episode as well. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope he does as well. So let's cut back to our nether project. Alright, and we are back. We've got the entrance and the building for this kill chamber completely finished. Um, I have not gotten to the storage that I'm planning on putting right down here. Um, I've got to do some testing in a redstone testing world and to figure out exactly how I'm going to get this done. So, but while I've been building this, I've had this farm running and we have some loot, not a whole lot, because we still have tons of spawning spaces in this area. But we've already got two Wither Skeleton Skulls, so this farm is already working very well for that. So, I will get out of here, and I will continue this building and doing the collection area right down here in the next episode. This has been Buggy Hoser, and thanks for watching. Goodbye!